I don't know what's going on the last couple of days, but the world is going mad. There's so much to talk about, so let's dive in. Okay, first of all, I happened to see this, and I do remember Britney Spears did have this on her Instagram. So let me just share this clip with you guys. Hello, and please don't judge me. I look haggard right now. But my question to all of you is, a lot of fans in our world today, they always are subject to really criticize people and say that the pictures and videos that they're posting are either not on time or they're fake. But no one ever really asks, are the paparazzi pictures fake? And do the paparazzi people do stuff to the pictures? And is the news really real? It's a conspiracy theory that I'm actually interested in. Yesterday, I went swimming. I look like I'm 40 pounds bigger than I am today. This is how I am right now, and I'm skinny as a needle. You tell me, what is real? I wanted to post that video because it was from 2019. And in the caption, she does say, sorry about her messy mascara. It's possible she could have been crying. Maybe she was crying about that article she saw. She did say that they would tell her that she was fat. The people when she was in the conservatorship and just people probably in the industry in general and her family. Anybody would feel like that if the newspapers try to make them look that big. But the point is, she said, is this conspiracy theory? I remember everybody was pulling that apart Especially by her saying, I'm as skinny as a needle. I'm telling you, I bet she's sitting back laughing at some of these conspiracy theories. I actually read Britney Spears' fantasy is Amazon's best-selling celebrity perfume in 2022. Sixth fragrance overall. She was so pretty. So Perez Hilton has some updated news for us. He has no idea what's about, what's going on, anything. So the whole thing is his blind reaction. Britney Spears just posted something on Instagram that instantly caught my attention. And I thought we would read it together for the first time. This is my blind reaction. But first, a reminder. I am told it has been confirmed that Brittany is the one posting herself on her Instagram. This neuro neuropathy, uh, spine, spinal accessory nerve uh, pain. I'm taking pain away from this. So I'm guessing Brittany is in pain or has experienced pain. And that's what this post is going to be. Let's read it. The pop icon says, quote, are we going to say it was hard being my sister? Okay. Hold on. I've got to research real quick because I've had a rough week and I don't know if there's beef between Brittany and Jamie Lynn. Hold on. And I mean, any, any new beef. Clearly, there's a lot of drama in the past. They're estranged. Ah, now things make sense. Brittany is responding to headlines this week about her sister, Jamie Lynn. Read this. For some reason, when I tried to record him reading that, there was absolutely no sound. So I found the article and I will attach it after the rest of the video. So it all makes sense now. <clears throat> Are we gonna say it was hard being my sister? Hmm, really? Well, this was my spa plan at Vegas as my childhood friends had their heads held high with a seat for toes and nails and a bottle of champagne for each one of them while I stood at the door. What was her spa plan? The photos of the backs? That was Britney's spa plan? Okay. Okay. Britney continues. I stood at the door, not allowed to go in, but... 
bet your bottom dollar they be gotten their entertainment from me that night. I've learned from the best. Do we dare set aside our self-care and acknowledge a childhood friend? Why, no. We teach her the meaning of mean. Wait, is this now talking about somebody she had beef with that's not her sister? We teach her the meaning of mean and then throw her away in the end with no self-rights. Oh, she's talking about herself. You want me to share it on telly? I'd rather spit in their faces than trash them on Instagram because that's all my family has ever been to me. Here are pics of what nerve damage can do, which I have right side of my body and goes numb every night. Not a victim story or crying about it because I was never a big deal. I sat in a chair for 10 hours a day and no rights for four months. They hurt me and nothing was done except that I lost 15 years of my life with my family owning my name. Subjected to being an angel while my dad has five women on his tour bus drinking that cup of coffee. So cool and smooth, it must have been nice owning my name for 15 years. It honestly blows my mind the hardships you say you have had with having me as your sister. I'm sorry you feel that way, but don't ever poke at my broken foot in a kitchen telling me to go to the doctor because my foot infection might infect your royal children? Exclamation marks. Pain. Brittany is still in a lot of pain. And that doesn't just heal overnight. A foot infection might infect your royal children? Exclamation marks. Pain. Brittany is still in a lot of pain, and that doesn't just heal overnight or over a year. It's possibly a very, very long process that might take years or a lifetime to get better. Heal. I send that to her. I did. Pause to read. I know it's a lot. Remember, this is coming from Prez. Remember he said before that she knew what was going on and she was in a lot of pain. She was okay, but in pain. He's totally playing off this. Here are the Instagram posts that Brittany just put up the last day or so. There is some serious stuff going on tonight. When I was looking, I happened to see that there was more new posts on Britney Spears' Instagram. Her and her sister are feuding. I'm not a fan of Jamie Lynn. Never was. She whines. Honestly, if it wasn't for Britney Spears, she would never have had any one of a career. Access did this story about Jamie Lynn 
I'll attach it, but it will be on the next video. I feel like sometimes I don't really know to have anything for myself. Jamie Lynn Spears is getting candid about her self-esteem issues stemming from being Britney Spears' younger sister. The 31-year-old actress opened up on the premiere episode of Fox's Special Forces, World's Toughest Test, and she revealed who and what sometimes makes her feel, quote, worthless. Why do you feel like you're worthless? It feels like every time I work really hard to get something on my own. It's like it's not really worth it. I mean, growing up, my sister became famous, worldwide famous, when I was very young. Your sister did? Yes. Right. And so, um, I'm so proud of her, love her to death, and I don't know, I just feel like sometimes I never really know to have anything for myself. Stop beating yourself up. No one's judging you, only you. Let's get rid of the past, and let's go forward. Afterwards, in a confessional, Jamie Lynn shared that even though she is proud of her pop star sister, she just wants to do this show for herself and wants her kids to be proud of her. I can be extremely proud of my sister, but also have my own identity and be expected to be seen as my own person. Stop. I struggle with self-esteem all the time, and as a parent, you really want to fake it because you don't want to ever see your children feel the feelings you feel. The hardest thing is being away from my kids. Are you all right? Yeah. But I'm here to do something that's going to make them proud. The Zoe 101 alum's comments about her sister come as she was recently given a shout out on Instagram by the toxic songstress last month when she celebrated her 41st birthday. The message, which was shared alongside two photos of Jamie Lynn, read, It's my B-Day, but you're my heart, so I'm thinking about you. Congratulations on being so brave, inspiring, and showing guts and glory in your show. An apparent reference to Jamie's appearance on the grueling reality series. Brittany continued, you ain't alone. If anybody knows what that feels like, I get it. My baby sister, I love you. Many fans were left surprised and confused by the post, considering the sister's rocky history. The Hold Me Closer singer and the Sweet Magnolias actress had publicly clashed over last year, with things coming to a head amid the release of Jamie Lynn's memoir, Things I Should Have Said. While Jamie Lynn was promoting the book in January, Britney sent her a cease and desist letter through her lawyer, Matthews S. Rosengart, claiming that the book included, quote, misleading or outrageous claims about her. Jamie Lynn's lawyer reportedly fired back in a letter of his own, calling the cease and desist letter, quote, inflammatory, and arguing it had, quote, failed to specify any legal wrongdoing whatsoever, according to TMZ who obtained the document at the time. Back in January, Jamie Lynn talked to Access Hollywood's Scott Evans about her memoir and why she wrote a book about her truth from the past 30 years of her life, being Britney Spears' sister and being in the spotlight. I think that, like you said, um, this story is my story for over the past 30 years, but I've been writing it for quite some time. And I found it really important obviously to use my voice and 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 show that it matters to my daughters because I never want them to feel afraid to share their truth whether it's something I don't want to hear or someone else doesn't want to hear they should feel proud to use their voice no matter the circumstances so that was really my main driving force was you know I can walk I can talk the talk but I need to walk the walk and I've got to be strong even when it's scary because I have to you know I don't believe that, I don't believe that there's any better way to do that than to tell my truth and to use my voice. Mm -hmm. And to be an example of that for your girls. Exactly. Right? Was it, was there, were there moments, before we dig into the book, but were there, were there moments where you were like, oh, I don't know if I should this, or, or like, mm, what are they going to say when they read this, or mm, I'm definitely right now. <laughs> were there moments like that for you? Oh, of course. Um, there's. I think like it's one of those things that like I can't tell half truths because then it's not genuine and it's not authentic and as much as this is a book that will be shared with the world this is my personal story and I'm working on myself and I'm really trying to grow and I'm challenging myself to say things that I need to say even if it makes another person uncomfortable and I would want that for anyone not just me but it's a personal growth challenge that I really am trying to do and hold myself accountable to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there are moments where I was like, I don't know if I can 
say that, but it's what happened. It's how I felt in that moment. And also respecting who I was at 14, respecting who I was at 10 years old, and letting that little girl have a moment to share how she felt because she never did. You know what? A normal person, I would feel bad for them in a way because having to be behind somebody, it's almost like, Solange Knowles and her sister being Beyonce. Could you imagine your sister being Beyonce or your sister being Britney Spears? Just never going to be that good. I've just seen that there's some new posts that Britney Spears now has put up on her Instagram. I am going to attach them now so you all can read them. I'm now going to go around and see what everybody's saying about them. I just wanted to say, I just think that this is all really, really sad. And it's sad that this has to honestly all play out in the public eye. With that, I will leave you with this video that goes along with these posts of Britney Spears twirling around giving everybody, I'm taking it Jamie Lynn, probably her family, the middle finger. <laughs> Yeah.